We all know how hard it is to do fundraising out there. Whether you're fundraising for your kid's school, for pet rescue, it's always a challenge. We're all after, all charities are after that, that same buck. So here at Helping Homeless Pets, Lewin has maybe assisted a lot of the other groups that are having those challenges. So you could tell me a little bit about your service. Well, it was started about 10 years ago by a group that wanted to help small pet rescues that really didn't have uh, the numbers to be able to be at vet events like this and, uh, and also to help them fundraise to uh, help pay their vet bills. Well, this is the challenge for a lot of them, um, is that, you know, it costs money to be out there in front of people and rent these booths and everything. So, are you a registered charity? Yeah, yes. We all know, and that is a very, that's an accomplishment in itself, is, is that. So, um, do you uh, do you have any paid staff, or is it volunteer, or what's, how do you do it? The only uh, people that get paid are the, we have a part-time bookkeeper, and the accountant, and when we need legal advice. Well, the thing is, we all need a good accountant. I mean, it's either an accountant or a mechanic, right, and everything. So, if people wanted to support, because you never know, there's so many small groups out there for rescue. So if they feel more secure in giving money to you guys and then you distri distribute it, I think that that's a heck of an idea. So can you tell me where people would go to give you money? I'm sorry? Just tell me a little bit how people would get, uh, you know, uh, Facebook or whatever, your website to get in. Facebook page, we also, uh, through Canada Helps, through our website, and our members will have a Canada Helps link that it will, that will channel through to the Helping Homeless Pets link. Uh, some people donate through United Way, and some people donate to us directly by check, and we can issue a charitable tax receipt, and they, it's called a directed donation, so they can send a check and say, I want this money to go to help this specific rescue within our umbrella, and then we will hold that money, and they submit vet bills to us that we will pay out. So the, the beauty is that if the organization they want to give to isn't a registered charity and they give money to you, they do get a tax receipt. Yes, yes they can. Yeah, you see, that's, that's the beauty of this whole relationship here, folks. So, uh, you know, help out Lewin here. You'll do a great service. I know it's very questionable, a lot of the organizations, who's good, who's bad, who's a hoarder, who's this and that. So please, look them up and give them money. The Code of Ethics and the Code of Conduct because uh, the rescue industry is unregulated and so we want to have something that we that can be uh, measured up to other rescues and and hopefully it will be something that uh, that the rescue community as a whole will look to uh, and this is something that they'll respect well that and that's true that's a good point that you make it's unregulated so you never know is the person rescuing dogs or are they becoming a hoarder so i mean you see them on tv you see them on the tv show so please check them out Play it safe with your money.